Elbit Systems Hermes 900 Unmanned Aerial System UAS, was recently demonstrated for the UK Maritime and Coast Guard Agency MCA. The demonstration were run by the MCA and were designed to test the capabilities of using a UAS to enhance search and rescue SAR, capabilities and the use of long-range unmanned capabilities in civilian airspace. Taking place off the west coast of Wales over the first two weeks of September, the Hermes 900 was able to fly advanced beyond line-of-sight missions into unsegregated and uncontrolled airspace, in full alignment with the UK Civil Aviation Authority CAA. The trials were conducted as the MCA seeks to improve the effectiveness of its search and rescue operations while reducing the risk to MCA personnel in the field. In the demonstration, the Hermes 900 equipped with search and rescue specific radar, an automatic identification system ICE, EO, IR payload, an emergency position indicating radio beacon EPIRB, and full satellite communications, was deployed on a range of missions that simulated shoreline rescues, water rescues in dangerous airspace and long-distance ship rescues which crossed international airspace lines. With a wingspan of 15 meters, the 1.2-ton, Hermes 900 is already deployed with customers around the globe providing search, rescue and reconnaissance capabilities. The company offers extended life-saving capabilities with its recently launched Hermes 900 maritime patrol configuration with inflated life rafts for detection, identification and saving the lives of survivors at sea. It was revealed that this configuration was delivered to an undisclosed customer in Southeast Asia. Martin Fawcett, CEO of Elbit Systems UK commented, We are pleased to have had the opportunity to showcase our enhanced search and rescue capabilities to the MCA this week. The Hermes 900 is perfectly equipped to deal with the needs of the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency and we are proud to be able to support them as they continue with their vital, life-saving work. Director of HUM Coast Guard Claire Hughes said, we continue to do all we can to use existing technology as well as look to the future in our ongoing work of saving lives at sea. Remotely piloted aircraft continue to be a big part of that work both to potentially save lives in search and rescue and protect our beautiful coastlines from the worst effects of pollution.